Greetings. Hello, everybody. This is Dr. Miles Reed, doctor in both Western and Chinese medicine. Happy to be here with you again to tell you a few things that you pregnant mothers can do to help you having the best experience in your delivery and, and pregnancy, of course. Um, I want to talk to you today a little bit about how to turn the baby. Many times mothers are concerned because the baby is not in the right position and the weeks pass getting closer to delivery and uh, what to do to help the baby turn. In Chinese medicine there is a long history of experience in helping mothers turn the babies by using this very simple thing that we call the moxa, M-O-X-A. It's a stick made of herbs, primarily Artemisia, mugworth, and it's been used to stimulate points in the body through heat, of course without touching the skin so you don't hurt your skin, but the infusion of heat in particular points has effects of, in this case, helping to turn the baby. You might have heard about this, but I want to give you a brief description of how you can do it yourself at home. So you can find a moxa easily uh, shopping online or in a Chinatown, where, the city where you live. And uh, it's a simple cigar made of herbs. And when you have the moxa, to use it, you hold it as if you're holding a pen. And you apply it, let's say this is the skin, and you place it near the skin, so enough that you can feel the heat, but it doesn't burn you. And this is more or less a, maybe a, an inch to two inches apart from the skin. And then let the heat sensation penetrate until it gets too hot. When it becomes too hot, then retreat the moxa and then put your finger to cool down the skin and repeat the process. Hold the moxa in the point for about three minutes and that's pretty much how the stimulation goes. To turn the moxa on, you light it as if you're lighting a cigar. You can utilize a candle or you can use a lighter. And uh, I recommend that you peel there's an outer layer of paper around the tip. Uh, peel that off, the blue one in this case, and you'll still have another layer, I'll show you, that is white underneath. See, there's still another layer of wrapping that is white. And you can keep that on so the herbs don't get all dispersed. So you light it up and then have a plate next to you because every couple minutes you want to shake off those burnt ashes and so the tip is nice and hot. So which is the point to stimulate? The point is in your foot. And I show you with my hand, it's the corner of the nail of the small toe of your foot. And uh, it's the, if you want to look it up in your uh, browser in a Google search, it's the urinary bladder point 67. So you can do a search and you can get a nice clear maps. So you do it on both feet. Stimulate about three minutes each a corner of the nail of the small toe uh, of each foot. And it's best to start this on week 34. And uh, depending on how much you're getting close to your delivery date, you can do it up to two or three times per day. It's best to do it at home because you can have a control of it, you can do it to yourself, your partner can do it to you, and so forth. There's an adjacent point that is also good to stimulate, that is a little bit further up in the outer ankle. It's halfway in the depression between the Achilles tendon and the outer knob of the ankle. So on the outside of the ankle, behind the knob, in that depression there, you can also do it in both sides, so in both legs. That is the urinary bladder number 60. And uh, you can add this point as well, another three minutes on each side, if you're getting closer, you're not getting results. And also, both of these points, you can use them if you are wanting to induce labor. So you're getting at the end of your pregnancy, your doctor is saying, well, if you, know, if you don't go into labor by this date, we will have to induce you. And it's always better to try to avoid the induction because it's forcing your uterus to contract, uh, in not in this following its own natural rhythm. So if you can have a natural labor, it will be much better for the experience of you. So you can stimulate these points, and again, two or even three times per day, 
during those days in which you have the window of time before they actually induce you once you already have reached your delivery date. Of course, you can reach out to an acupuncturist in your area and uh, have an acupuncture session to induce, but you can absolutely help it at home by utilizing the moxa in those two points. I hope this is helpful for you. Uh, we've used this in the clinic and uh, it's a traditional usage of moxibustion from hundreds of years. And uh, it definitely is a, a resource that can help you to achieve the results and the experience that you're looking for. This is Dr. Miles Reed for Blooming Together, this wonderful audio pregnancy workbook. Hope you enjoy it and until next time, thank you.